Okay, here's a short slideshow that I made of a POW canteen radio replica. As you can see, here is some examples. And courtesy of, I think it's in six, Charlie, Charlie, I made one very similar to his. So I gathered together some parts here uh, from my junk bin, including some coil forms, which I didn't end up using, but uh, some extra cloth wiring. And then I acquired a, a vintage canteen from a military swap meet and proceeded to cut it open. And then I used the piece that I cut out as the main board for the receiver. And I installed some standoffs so that we could separate the board so nothing would short out. And that's what it's going to look like right there. Um, drilled a hole or punched a hole for the tube socket. And I used a, an old ceramic style tube socket. And then I started to gather together the components, uh, main tuning capacitors, air variables, a coil, and some extra miscellaneous parts. Had to go with a longer uh, coil form just to get it to fit in there without um, hitting anything. And with the uh, canteen inside of its case, you can't even tell that there's any cutout or anything like that. So you wouldn't even know that there's a radio inside. And here's the layout of the components, uh, slightly different than the NC, N6CC uh, design, but I uh, had to uh, use the parts that I had and fit it in the way I could with what I had. And here's what it would look like. Um, with the knobs on it and the tube in the socket and the connector for the power. And here I'm starting the cloth wiring. And most of the components installed and more wiring. And here's the plethora of parts that I was using. I had to select the ones that would fit. Um, so some of those nice large uh, capacitors there were too big to actually fit inside. Got the coil wound attached. And it's mostly complete here. And here it is all complete um, and a reference picture to the other canteen. So looking pretty good. There's the inside and it all fits inside that canteen. And here it is testing on the test bench. So I used my um, 60 volt bench power supply for the B plus and then used uh, four AA batteries for the six volt filament. It uses a six SK7 tube and I use some vintage uh, headphones um, and hooked it up and it was able to receive WWV and one of the ham bands uh, using my 80 meter vertical as an antenna. So it definitely worked. The headphones um, don't provide a lot of volume. So in the future, if I want to use this more, I would probably hook it up to a small audio amp or something like that. Thanks.